everyone, I'm Lauren and I'm the Associate Editor here at Blogettes and today I'm going to be walking you through how to optimize a blog post in WordPress. Alrighty, so here we are in the back end of WordPress. Um, I've added a new post and it should look something like this. So as you can see, I've already added the title here and I've already dropped my text down here in the text editor. So I have my headings and everything already put in there. So when it comes to optimizing, the first thing you'll want to do is choose your keyword. So the keyword is so important because that's how your blog post is going to be searched and found organically. So for this particular post, I'm going to use the keyword Instagram pods. So I'm going to put this here in the focus keyword area. And then, so once you put it in the focus keyword, there's a couple of key places that you want to also have the keyword within the post. So you definitely want to have it in your title. So you can see here the title is the inside scoop on Instagram pods. So we're good there. And then you're also going to want to have um, your keyword down here sprinkled throughout your text. So you're also going to want to have it in your H1 tag, which is your heading that we can see right here. So my heading is Instagram pods. What are they? So we're good to go there. And we also have um, Instagram pods sprinkled throughout the content. And then if you guys are curious about how to find keywords, we recommend using a tool like Google Keyword Planner where you can search for keywords that your audience is searching for that's relevant to your site. Um, so that's kind of a quick tip there. Um, and then the next step is going to be to write your meta description. So I've already written one so I'm just going to copy and paste it here. Um, so you're going to want to edit the snippet. And then this little area right here is where you're going to write your meta description. So basically your meta description is just a quick summary of what your blog post is about and it's what someone's going to see when they search for your content. So it'll pop up right under the title. So um, you want it to be engaging and you want it to encourage the reader to click on the post. So it's good to include something like learn more here or click to read the full post, something along that line. So, We've dropped the meta description in and it's also important to have your keyword in your meta description. So you can see that I have it right here, Instagram pods. So now that you've dropped in your meta description, um, it's also important that your keyword is in your URL. So if you guys are wondering how to customize this, this is up here at the top right under the title and you can just hit edit and update your URL accordingly. So this will be whatever the person types into the search bar when they're looking for your blog post. So you can change that to be whatever you want. I usually just leave it to be the blog post title. It just makes it easier. And then you're also, a lot of people forget to do this step, but you're also going to want to include your keyword in the alt text for your image. So if we come over here, I've already included our featured image. So I'm just going to click on it. And I usually just leave the title as is, so the title of the blog post. And also whenever you save the image to your desktop or wherever um, you have it saved, you want to make sure the keyword is in the title um, of the name. So we have it here in the title. And then I'm also going to put it here in the alt text. So the inside scoop on Instagram pods. So this way, if someone is searching through Google Images, for example, and they search the keyword Instagram pods, if they find this image and click on it, it's going to direct them back to the full blog post, which we definitely want. So always remember to include the keyword to the alt text. And then you're just going to hit update. And then, so you'll definitely want to do this for the featured image, but you'll also want to do it if you have images throughout the blog post. So the same rules apply there. And then one other quick tip is to interlink. So when someone lands on your blog post, you want them to stay, spend as much time as possible on your site. So a great way to do this is to interlink within the post to other posts on your site. So we can see right here, we have an interlink. So if you click on it, it'll take you to another post that we've written here at Blogette. So this just increases the time that they spend on your website. So this is just a great um, SEO tip. And then also whenever you interlink, you'll definitely want to open the link in a new tab. So it's not going to take them off of the site that they're currently on, it's just going to open it in a new tab. So to do that, it's really simple. You'll just click on it, hit this little edit button, and then the little gear, and just check open link in a new tab and update. And that's it. So once you've done all of these steps, you're on your way to having an optimized blog post. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our YouTube channel.